And that's the first shot of Andromeda right there. Just, I never get over how just amazing that looks. Just never. All right, so I'm having to record the audio on my cell phone because I didn't think I was going to record any uh, audio while I was out here, but I don't want to go back inside. So anyway, here we are on night two. The clouds have been an extreme battle. Uh, supposed to clear up about an hour and a half ago, and they didn't. And the app that's normally right was wrong, and the app that's normally wrong is right, or closer to being right. So here we are. So I'm gonna hopefully catch a decent amount of data on Andromeda before dawn. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, I'm not sure, we'll have to see, but that's where I'm going. Um, so the next night, uh, well now tonight, um, it's supposed to be clear last time I looked at the f forecast. So. We'll try again, and if we're lucky, we'll get a good uh, couple, two or three hours on the Veil Nebula um, of good data, and then the remainder of the night on Andromeda. Um, and if not, we'll see how it goes. This is this is still technically summertime. Uh, next few few days, uh, next week or so, it'll it'll officially become fall, but in this time of the year or any time when it gets warm in the south of the united states the humidity is like 85 percent right now um it's cool but there's a lot of moisture in the air i can see a lot of moisture in the air that always messes with things but we'll take what we can get so that's where we stand right now and if i don't get enough data on one i'll put the two into a video i really want to make a video out of this i've been trying to record as much as i can um, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see how much we can get before daylight. thinking one of the things I get somewhat self-conscious about is uh, there's a good bit of traffic on our road and they come out here and um, people see me in the front yard or in the backyard or whatever recording but it's just even when I've gotten it set up to where I can record and review my stuff in, in the house I have something about being out here and looking looking up and and seeing simultaneously our past our collective past as a universe and our future you know where we're destined to hopefully go and then it's, it's amazing to me. I, mean, I love standing out here being present even though I'm not looking at the photons in necessarily real time, you know, being present as things are coming in and being stacked and things happen. Because it's, this is the, this is the closest that I'll probably come to space travel in my lifetime. Never leaving the surface of the earth, but passively observing 
traveling to new worlds, new solar systems, new galaxies in this case, and without ever leaving the earth. How amazing is that? How profound is that? How, how humbling is that? When you, you, you look up and, and you see how small we are, but simultaneously how precious life is, how amazing just the littlest things can be when you look up and realize there is so much more that we will never see. Literally every moment that we're not looking up at the stars, we're missing something. You know, and that same analogy or that same statement can be said about life here on earth, but there's so much more to miss up there. It's, it's amazing. I can feel the pull, whether it's Andromeda or Orion or Jupiter or Saturn. Or I can feel the pull to go explore, to see It's an amazing experience. It's a humbling experience. And to think of all we know now, and we look back across history at how little our ancestors knew at the stories they made up of, a, you know, of, of Orion chasing Pleiades, the seven sisters. You know, he's, 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 he's never going to catch them, but he's always chasing them. You know, the stories that we made up. It's amazing. I don't understand how people could not look up and be, be in awe and be in wonder. And how this same technology, this same progress that's giving nobodies like me the ability to do this is the same progress that's taking away our night skies because we're losing, we're polluting our skies with, with, with light. We're taking and making the light that we make here on this planet, planet and we're, we're making it more important than the light that the universe is giving us. And what are we losing? What are we taking away from ourselves? What are we taking away from our children? When we take away something as precious as the night sky, may we get our act together. I hope we get our act together. All the journeys that await us, if we could just get our act together. Okay, I'll stop talking. Let's see how Andromeda turns out.